I guess Bryce just kind of how did that one feel? It seems like you guys were clicking mm -hmm. on all cylinders tonight. Yeah, it felt good, man. We were able to get out, you know, get some early shots, and you know, just kind of see the ball going early, and then from there we were just able to, you know, kind of main maintain it through the game. You know, we were able to stop, you know, some of their best players. You know, they hit a couple tough shots, but you know, we executed our game plan at a high level, and you know, I think I think that's why we won. Came back from the injury, you've been struggling a little bit. Did yeah. it feel good to, to see some going tonight? Yeah, it did. It did, man. You know, the process always stays the same. You know, no matter if I'm playing good or bad, you know, you got to approach it the same way, putting in the work and, you know, just doing what it takes. So, so yeah, it was definitely good to see a couple go in. You, some of the guys earlier in the week had talked about putting together a full 40 minutes. Does it feel like you guys had finally done that tonight? Oh, yeah, we definitely did that. I think we put a full 42 minutes. What were the extra two? I mean, just communicating, that's all it was. You know, when you get tired, it's hard to talk. So we just kept the communication going the whole game, and that's when we did. You guys also really cut down on turnovers after after last battle. I guess I'll start with you, Jarius. How good does that feel maybe after practice, but I'm guessing it was emphasized, don't oh, turn yeah. the ball over? Oh, yeah, that was a big emphasis on the week. Um, I think we had, what, three going – coming out of half, so that was um, a big emphasis coming into the game. And then, obviously, how well we're shooting it as a team, just shooting the ball is just important for us. So um, not turning it over is great. How big is three-point shooting for this offense specifically? I know it's big for everyone, but when, when it's clicking for you guys, what does that open up and create for, for everyone else? Well, it opens up the floor. Um, it opens up the floor for us. Um, playmakers right here get downhill. Uh, space in the floor, and then you got those big guys inside, and then it start opening up lobs for BG and Zay and Mike, things like that. So the three point is big for us, and it spaces the floor. Bryce, I know it's probably hard to talk about him because he's sitting right there next to you, but what you saw from Q last year to where he is now, what can you just kind of say about his development? Yeah, he's he's made a tremendous jump, man. I, I think he's just out there. He's more comfortable, you know. He he's been he's been through it, you know. He understands Coach Mike. He understands the coaching staff. He understands, you know, different, you know, game plans and stuff now. So he's able to go out there and you know, just do what he do, do, do what he does. You know, he puts the work in, and you know, we all trust him. And he goes out there and he makes a lot of hustle plays. You know, give you a three here and there, and you know, just plays his game. So um, I'm happy, really happy for him. What goes into just getting more comfortable through an off season? Your first like true off season with the program. What kind of that? I really just say being consistent. Uh, last year I think I was inconsistent. This year I just try to be more consistent. You guys are up to five hundred now on a team. Is is this team finding a little group? Finding a little stride? I mean, I just feel like we're starting to come together more on offense and defense. Defensively, what's what's changed for you guys? Um, we, we just got a bunch of new guys, so they got to get the concept, and we just got to lock in together as a team on defense. We can't just play one on one because it's not one on one out there; it's five on five. Bryce Brandon had six assists tonight. I think he had three in a row. What is that like to have a guy with his back to the basket and, he, and he's able to look over his shoulder? It's like good, man. It really it opens up the game for him, you know, because it's really hard for teams to to trap him, you know, on the baseline because he's a, such a good passer and can, you know, we got shooters. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like pick your poison. So it was really good to see him, you know, be able to be able to you know make good passes and also find find the bucket a couple times.